What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be creating this Smashing Pumpkins poster using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Let's get started. All right, so I've got Illustrator opened up here. Um, I actually had an idea for this based on a similar poster that I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to just kind of use that same basic concept and do the same thing here. And I'm going to, I think I'm just going to leave it as a surprise uh, for you. I don't want to show you the actual, uh, the original one before I, before I um, create this one. So. Um, so what I'm going to do here is basically it's going to be a lot of use of the blending tool today. So let's do this. Um, I think I'd like to set a set size probably around seven inches or so, and we'll go up negative two inches from the bottom. This is 18 by 24, by the way, and copy and paste that. Um, paste in pla uh, paste in place actually so command and uh, um, uh, command C command F to paste in place and then I'll just enlarge it and we'll probably go to about let's go all the way to the edge and then back it off probably about that much and what I want there to be here I want there to be seven um, seven rings uh, in between here or I'm sorry, seven rings total. So we want to use our blend tool and go specified steps. We've already got one and two, so we need to add five to make seven. So there we go, there's seven of them. And then I'm going to expand everything right here and ungroup all of it. So that way all of these are individual circles that are on paths, because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the song titles on each one of these paths right here. And I am going to go ahead and grab the, um, let's see, grab the song titles to have listed out. All right, so I'm going to grab the song titles here and I'm going to go to the site or I'm just going to type it in actually. Um, let's see, sort lines by by length. I've used this one before, it's a good one. So paste all of them in and we're gonna uh, sort um, shortest to longest, it doesn't really matter um, which one you do uh, right here. But uh, so what we're gonna do is, since we have seven, uh, seven rings uh, there and there are 28 songs uh, total, there's gonna be four songs on each line. So before I, before I get started in copying and pasting these songs over, let's go ahead and set up the structure uh, for, uh, for this because what we have to do is I want those lines to I want those lines to be there and then also be uh, type on a path. So I'm going to do copy and paste in place and I'm going to lock my selection because when you hit type on a path, it makes that line disappear. So we don't we don't want that to happen. And it doesn't matter what we put in right now. I'm just going to set up the structure of the text. I think I'm going to choose man rope for my font just because that's generally my go to font. It's a it's a really nice one. And let's just get the you know things like sizing in place and things like that. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of these and go ahead and copy this. Okay. And really, I'm just throwing these on on there so that they so that there's something there, just you know, as a placeholder, until I can go in and grab uh, the text. Okay, so let's grab four songs here, and we're gonna start it. I'm gonna start uh, right here at this point. And let's grab. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate. So we have to get these all on the same line. So I'm just going, uh, I'm just hitting the delete key, bringing it up to the same line. And then I'll rotate this in, probably about something right there. And I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do, normally I would um, go ahead and lay down some guides. So I'm gonna do that so that we can keep everything exactly where we want it to be. I'll probably set a one inch margin 
around this as kind of a safe area, just in case I want to get this printed. And then we will be in good shape. All right, so we are well within uh, that margin there. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll kind of play around with it and uh, make it to where the end of those uh, lines hits uh, it hits that hits that guide right there. I don't know. I'm I'm really just kind of winging this. All right, so let's go back. And I'm going to uh, when this is when I'm finished setting up the structure of the text and everything like that, I'm going to uh, add some color, probably like a blue and gold or maybe blue and silver or something like that to keep in line with the aesthetics of the album art. And then we'll go in and add, you know, some kind of effects to it, you know, probably some, uh, some like old paper or something like that. Yeah, the idea is, you know, as these circles are getting larger, you know, like the the line length uh, for the songs is, are, are also getting larger. Four, okay. Wait, I want to get my bullet there. Perfect. I've done uh, I've done a lot of posters using the type on a path uh, before, and it's it's really fun. Like all the things that you can do with it, it's it's pretty cool. You can pretty much you know you can pretty much put type on any path that you want to. I've seen I've seen some really intricate uh, ones before that people have done using type on a path uh, tool, and it's. Just, it's just a really cool thing that you can do. Sorry, this part's a little bit repetitive. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of th uh, things to talk about so you're not entirely bored. But you know, I do have the music going as well, so that, you know, you can hear the music, but I can't hear the music right now. <laughs> right now, all I'm hearing is the silence of my office. All right, so we'll go all the way around here. It looks like I may have to adjust the sizing of the text. So it's not a big deal. Let me go back here and grab the last four songs. All right, let's see what we can do. With this, probably are gonna have to. So let's see what we can do here on this side. If we bring it down to 28, are we still gonna be able to stay inside? No, looks like we're gonna have to go down to like 24 or something like that. Or maybe 26 will do it. All right, so it looks like 26 is gonna do it. Let's see if we can push it to 27. No, I'm gonna leave it at 26. So then we'll just make the same adjustment to the rest of them so that, that way they're all consistent with each other okay and then we'll just rotate to get these to the ends here to the ends of where the margins are i'd like for them to all be uh lined up I, you know because i want to avoid the text you know kind of looking like the wi-fi symbol <laughs> All right, so basic structure is done. Let's go in there and grab this. And there's some additional information that I want to put in, obviously. You know, we've got to give some kind of context. So I'm going to say melancholy and the infinite sadness. And I think I'm going to go probably around 36 point for the, uh, for the album title. And then underneath it, let's grab this. 
and it's they're credited as the Smashing Pumpkins on the album. So let's go down to maybe 26 or so and maybe drop the weight to probably light that sound or maybe no, I think that looks good. And I think that I might, uh, hmm, let's get rid of the guide and see what it looks like there. It looks like it could use a little bit more uh, padding or margin. So let's bring it down one and a half inch. I think that looks a little bit better. It may be inconsistent with what's going on on the right side with the um, uh, with the song titles, but that's that's fine. And then this is their third album, so I'm going to put a number three up there, and then maybe just to kind of balance this out at the bottom. I don't think we need to put anything large there. Maybe just the release date. And let's. I'm pretty sure I know the release date, but let me verify it. Yeah, so we'll just say 10-24-95. There we go. And I think that that works well in that weight. Let's see, what is this? This is bold. Nah, I'd like to contrast it. Yeah, so let's, let's, uh, let's do that lightweight there okay all right so this is looking cool um i am going to make a mask with these shapes yeah that should have gone in there too so let me let me do that over again okay unlock everything that's the thing is like remembering to unlock the things that you're supposed to unlock. Okay, now we'll grab all of this and mask it inside. Very cool. All right, so let's assign some color here. And I'm thinking probably a nice deep blue that's not too saturated. So probably like around there somewhere, I'd like it to be nice and dark. Let's back off the saturation some. Yeah, that's looking cool. All right, so now we'll go in here, grab all of these strokes, and then maybe do like a silver. And then the text. We can make that gold. Maybe not so bright, maybe something a little bit more like this. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks cool. I may actually take down the, the brightness of that silver a little bit. Something, no, not that. There we go. Just to give it a little bit of contrast there. Or you know what? I think I may even go even darker. So if we were to go something like that. Okay, yeah, that's that's cool. I like that better. Alright, so whoops. Let's go in here. I'd like to um uh raise up the baseline of all of these so that it's not exact so that it's not perfectly touching those lines. I think 20 is good. Very nice. And then we'll just go in and color these the same. I think that we'll do gold here and then maybe silver for the Smashing Pumpkins. Make three the same and then make this uh, silver as well. All right, I think that I'm happy with those colors. I like them a lot. They're a little bit more on, on the muted side. You know, they're not so saturated. I think I'm gonna 
do something like that, maybe like a half inch. Or I might, what I might do is, since we've got that line element on the album cover, I'll probably just put one in here. So let's get it right there and then quarter inch down and then we'll do the same thing here. Push that a quarter inch down. Okay. Very cool. I like that. All right, let's make sure everything is unlocked. Everything is unlocked. So I'm going to select everything and go into Photoshop here. Paste it as a smart object and then we'll get it right about here or so. Probably gonna have to play around with this a little bit. This is a result of doing that and doing that mask. It's still taking all of those things into account. So you, you know, it can get a little bit frustrating dealing, uh, uh, trying to work with this and everything. I'm sure that there's another way to do it. I just, I'm just not doing that <laughs> right now. Let's make that our reference point and bring that until about right there. All right. Looking good. Okay. So, um, I'd like to add a couple of effects here. Maybe we'll go grab some, some paper overlays or something like that. Let the external drive do its thing. All right. Design resources and aged paper. And I'd like something that's a little bit more, you know, a, a little bit more dramatic. So I like those torn edges right there too. And I think that because of that color, I'm going to keep that color um, like that. So we can, you know, kind of have that vintage look going on. So let's just kind of cycle through these and see which one is going to be the best. Uh, typically, overlay is a good one. Although I think that I was planning on keeping that color, but I may actually desaturate it because it seems like it's kind of getting in the way. So let me try desaturating it and see what we can do here. This is looking a little bit better. I'd, I'd, I'd rather it take on the the color of that uh, that darker blue, that less saturated blue. Although I don't think that this particular paper texture is working too well with this. So let's uh, try something else. This is nice. This actually is one of my favorites. I, I use this a lot. I, I really do need to get some more uh, paper textures. <laughs> Overlay, overlay is nice, but I think that we're just, I think we're gonna have to desaturate it. That color burn is nice, it, that's nice. It's very dramatic though. And it's kind of making the text a little bit darker than I'd like it. Let's see what divide does. There we go. I like divide. And normally I would, um, normally I would enlarge this to get rid of those uh, little white edges right there, but I, I actually really like those right here. So I think that I may keep them. I wonder what it would look like. Oh, that's interesting. I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, make it a little bit more precise. That's interesting because it's kind of like a clear film that's being laid on top of it. Although I would like for the blue on that background to have some kind of texture to it. So I think that, you know, I've seen this before. Let me see if it would work well um, with this, where you just take the same texture and apply it again. Let's 
Let's see if it would work uh, well for the background there. We'll desaturate it. Okay, that's that's looking pretty cool. I do like that. We're a little bit uneven there, aren't we? So let's do this. Let's go back up to what we did before. Fill it, uh, fill it up, and then instead of doing percentages, I'll do um, I'll, I'll do inches. Not a hundred inches though. Um, let's see, 18, and then we'll do and just do minus. I think minus one is good. Yeah. So we'll do 20, uh, 23 and a quarter inches. That way it's nice and even all the way around there. That's that's much better. All right, and let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, that's pretty cool. Like it's interesting how we've got that same texture going on there. I, but I'd like to see what it looks like if we rotate it by 180 degrees. That way it gives it an entirely different look there. Um, what if we what if we did divide again? That way we still have you know like okay, so that that's looking pretty cool. It is kind of lightening it up a little bit, but I, but I'm actually okay with that. So let's add a stroke around this. Let's reset to default. I don't want it to be feathery or anything like that. So, and I think that I'll grab that yellow and maybe choose um, overlay. I'd like it to kind of blend a little bit. Maybe lighten and then take down the opacity. Now that I think about it, I don't think it needs to be that heavy. Okay. All right. Well, I am really liking this a lot. I think I'm going to go in and adjust the curves. On it overall just to kind of give it a little bit more contrast make it a little bit more dramatic I think this is cool like heading he heading in this direction where we're kind of decreasing the saturation of the blue and really increasing that gold it's looking pretty cool there I think I may back it uh, go back just a little bit make it a little bit more accessible you know because obviously the whole point of it is to promote the album right so you want it to be a little bit more accessible all right so I'm gonna add a grain layer because that's just what I do more grain all the time and we'll go all the way up I'd like the size maybe the size will be a little bit bigger than what I normally do and I don't think I'm gonna do a vignette on this one so let's see what that looks like up close that's looking really cool I like that see that's there's without there's with just kind of helps cover up a little bit more of those artifacts that you don't want seen so I think that I'll just add some noise here to uh, we'll just go kind of underneath that grain layer just to kind of give it a little bit maybe a little bit more kick I like the vivid light right there that's really cool so we're kind of giving some contrast to all of these effects that we've got going on here although that Smashing Pumpkins that silver is a little bit so it's a little bit too muted so I think what I'm gonna do is let's go into our smart object because this is the reason you do smart objects so you can easily go in and and change them so let's bring it up to about 60 percent hit save go back to Photoshop and it should it'll update it up right there okay that's much better much better I like that and I'm actually perfectly fine with just keeping the the circles um, the original uh, gray color that we did all right so there's an up close of all the effects and then here is the final poster full screen that this is really cool um, I may get this printed off I think that's I think that's really cool the only thing that I might 
change is maybe add some kind of like a, a sun or a moon up here because it, you know the theme of the album is very celestial so sun moon stars you know there's a lot that you could uh, that you could fill in uh, with this space you know like I like the old saying like no project is ever finished um, but yeah this is something that you could easily go back and add some effects to but I'm, I'm very happy with this I think it's really cool well, thanks a lot for joining me in making this poster today. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe down below. It'll keep more videos coming directly to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.